In this tutorial, we're going to use M2 Eclipse plugin in order to create and develop and also deploy a web application. Uh, we have done all these things using uh, Maven in the command line in the previous set of tutorials. We uh, specified an archetype, downloaded up you know source code structure, we uh, made some changes, we added dependencies, and we built and ran our uh, web application all using the command line and uh, this time we're going to do the whole thing in uh, M2 Eclipse and we'll also realize how easy it is when compared to using command line. Uh, if you're using Maven and if you're using Eclipse then uh, M2 Eclipse will save you a lot of time and uh, another thing to note here is that there are a few things that we can do differently in um, M2 Eclipse, like searching for a particular artifact or searching for an archetype. So these things are uh, something that will come in very handy. So we'll have uh, a look at how we can do all those things in Eclipse using the M2 Eclipse plugin. So I will start by creating a web application inside of Eclipse. So the way I do that is by using uh, right click, new, and I will choose other. Now, since I've installed the M2 Eclipse plugin here, I get this uh, option here for Maven. So I can choose a Maven project here. So I'm going to create a new Maven project. Let's say next. Now there's this checkbox here which says, uh, you know, if you want to create a simple project and you don't want to choose from an archetype selection, then you can check this. But I want to choose from a list of archetypes. So I'm going to leave that unchecked and I'm going to press next. Now what happens is we get a list of archetypes. This is similar to the list that we get in the uh, archetype colon generate command. Uh, it may even give us a huge list of archetypes and each one had a number and we had to choose the number. Since we are using a GUI here, we can just click on uh, an archetype and say next. We can also do a filter and this is something that comes in handy. We don't have to scroll through the whole list and uh, see which archetype that we need. Since I'm going to create a web app, what I'll do is I'll just type web app here. Now the list is automatically filtered by web apps. So here I can choose what archetype I want. I will choose the same thing that we did in our uh, you know command line example. I will choose the J2E14 and I will press next. Now here I can choose what uh, group ID, artifact ID, version and package I need. Again this is similar to what the you know archetype colon generate command line would ask us. Yeah, I'll use the same values that I used in that example. And uh, for the version, I will choose 1.0 snapshot. Now there's this other option here where you can add properties which are available in the archetype. We haven't covered archetype properties yet, so we'll just uh, skip this for now. Let's say finish. So here we have all the files ready inside uh, of Eclipse as a project. Uh, you see there is also the target folder that's been created. Maven has automatically run a uh, build and it has created the target folder as well. So now let's uh, let's open up the pom.xml. So this is another th thing handy uh, with the M2 Eclipse, this feature of uh, giving you a GUI for editing the pom.xml. So you have uh, all these different tabs here where you can uh, you can modify the pom.xml using this GUI. Uh, somehow I tend to be comfortable with the direct XML editor. So you can choose these GUIs if you want. Now what I'll do is, now I have uh, the whole pom.xml setup just the way it should be. I have all the dependencies to the servlet APIs, we have JUnit dependency, and we have the Maven compiler plugin uh, configured for 1.4. So now what I'll do is I will. Uh, why don't I remove this? I don't. I don't need this right now. Um, I'll remove this plugin here. And what I'll do is instead of this plugin, I will add the Jetty plugin, which is uh, something that we configured in the command line example. So in our pom.xml here, we added the. JT plugin configuration where we wanted the scan interval to be five seconds so that whatever changes we make will be uh, built and published to JT in a five second interval. So I will paste this here. Okay, so I have my JT configuration in this pom.xml. I'll save the pom.xml here. 
Okay, so now uh, we have updated the pom.xml. We can run Maven commands by right clicking, choosing run as, and choosing the Maven commands here. So there is this Maven command for package. I will choose the package. I don't need to compile because there are no Java classes. We've already seen that, but we can verify that again. So all that our uh, source code contains right now is a Java folder, which does not have anything in it. It just has a folder structure for my package, but it does not really have any classes. And I have the web app folder with an index.jsp and a web inf, which contains a simple web.xml and the web.xml has a welcome file entry for the index.jsp which is over here. So this is fine. So I can actually uh, deploy this even though it doesn't do much. So in order to deploy, I can run the maven command to package this, which is right click run as maven package. This is equivalent to calling the mvn package command. Now it has actually completed the build and then it has generated the package over here in uh, my home folder, my web app, target, and then the war name. Okay, so now what we can do is we can use uh, the jetty uh, colon run command to actually deploy this uh, war file. And then, you know, we have the application ready to execute. In order to do that, what I need to do is I need to right click here and then when you have this run as uh, menu, you see this Maven build with three dots next to it. So this is the configurable option. So I can click on this. And then here, what I can do is I can choose what uh, goals I need to run, what commands I need to run. So I will use the JT colon run command over here. Now I can choose the base directory here. Make sure that the base directory is where the pom.xml exists. So this is similar to, you know, what we did in our command line. We went to the directory where the pom.xml was and then we ran the maven commands. So we do something similar here. Just make sure that the base directory is the place where you have your pom.xml. Now I specify this goal, which this uh, command here, jt colon run, and then I can choose run. Now here you go, JT has started and it has activated the scanner interval of five seconds. Now let me open up my browser and try accessing this. Okay, so I will access localhost colon 8080 slash my web app. And there you go, our application has been deployed. Of course, this is just a JSP file, but this has been deployed automatically. And then of course, we also have Jetty that's scanning our code for changes. So if I add stuff here, if I add classes, if I add, uh, if I make changes to my workspace over here, it automatically gets deployed in uh, Jetty so that I can use my Firefox and access it. And it's gonna be done in a five second interval. So that's, uh, you know, it's, it's almost seamless. I don't have to do this build, make changes, deploy and access. You don't have to do that every time. It gets done automatically.